Yo, what's up YouTube, it's TRS, or the real smart here, and today I am carrying on my FIFA 17 foot road to glory, and I'm into the second round on the draft, and this game was so much fun. It was me versus two people, and it wasn't that good. I can't, I'm not actually going to show you every goal in this game. Because they would have been stupid at towards the end of the game. So as you can see, breakthrough with Jordi Alba in the 39th minute. Because they were playing really, really deep. So I think they had they were an ultra defensive counter attacking. But I know what that defense is actually like. I've played it once or twice. But as you can see, I have a throw in with Jordi Alba. Fake it. The fall for it, the fall for it every time. Neymar to Felipe Luis to Suarez through to Ronaldo. The gaps have opened. Ronaldo ain't gonna miss that. So it's 2 0, 55th minute. And this is where the floodgates start to open. They have. They're actually playing it around okay. I get a bit lucky on how the pass falls through with my player. Neymar just picks out the gap where Ronaldo's running. Ronaldo, as a striker, is godlike. So, I'm freeing him up. I'm going to show you up to the fourth goal because this is what they started doing. Bring it keeper out. Keeper saves it. Throws it out. He makes a good opportunity, well they make a good opportunity, but I win the header, I don't know, not all that though. So throw it out to Neymar, Neymar chips it up to CR7, CR7 chips it to Jordi Alba. I wanted the achievement, so I went for it, so I'm 4-0 up. It's pretty weird how he bent his leg, as you can see, Ronaldo. 10 raid. I saw 7 goals. All 3 of my subs. No, all 2 of my subs. Came on, saw the goals, got an assist. And so on and so forth. I know I'm rambling a little bit, but I was saw in 1 goal every 2 shots. This next game was really interesting. It made me realise that pacing always the way to go on FIFA. And that was legend uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Overpowered? Cause he was just ragging me with Figo. Palo Figo not as much. But my striker uh, fucks up the pass. Control and he tackled me. I do manage to go 1 0 up, but things can change in the game. This game is really fucking unpredictable because apparently Slamani is fucking brilliant, but when I had him, it was alright. It could have been my really bad defending. Because Neymar gets tackled with ease. Neymar doesn't have a lot of strength to him. But he just runs with Palo Futre. And Legend ain't gonna miss from there. So he's one on. And I could hear the creak of the gates. Samani apparently outruns some of my defenders. Uh, this is what it will like most of the game. I got to his defensive line, it was just too strong for me, and he counter-attacked. With Samani being able to outrun all my defence. But as you can see, it's just a lot of shambles, but a nice back heel. Samani in off the post to make it 2-1. He has ball with Figo, tries playing it up to Samani. 
Squires and picks up in midfield. Plays it to Neymar. Neymar back to Suarez. To Ronaldo. And Ronaldo's won in this game. As you can see, he's the man who made the good run. Picks out Palet Future. Who did pretty well at shielding ball. And Samani does a godlike turn. So I lose that game 3 1. I deserve to lose. My team didn't show up. So I got 2 wins. So I'm think I'll think it myself. The rewards are going to be similar to the offline foot draft. And I got the offline foot draft rewards. So I got a premium goal pack and a jumbo premium goal pack. I was hoping for some half decent. Got a rare player in this pack, and it turned out to be the Mali. As soon as you see Belgium, Roma, it's the Mali who only goes for back again. I get a Leicester City left mid, but knew he wasn't going to go for much. I've seen him on market a few times at a cheap price. He's listing for 5k. This guy used to go for a fortune. Yeah, not far too, but you know that 2k at one point. The right back from the Bundesliga, don't sell for shit. I just quick sell it, but like, list him for cheap. Have a look at, to see how much the dead eye goes for. And it goes for no. So, send that to my club. LA Galaxy away kit looks pretty nice. So I list it for 200 coins. Now onto the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. And I get a couple of rares in this one. But the, it's a complete sh fucking shit rare. So I see a Korean in that pack. I know Koreans are selling for a bit at the moment because of the um, Sun. Um, PL. Player of the month. Well, the gold ones are going for quite a price. Ben Davis. Don't go for too much. I know that off the top of my head. I've just seen how much he actually goes for. Cause I want too sure. But I'm seeing 4K. I check every single page to see what his lowest bid by now was. 3.9. So, I'm wanting a quick sale. Um, well, I'm wanting a sale. But I always undercut because I'm a right bastard for it. So, I list him for 2k starting price, 3.5k bid. None of these players are worth out, so I list them up for a couple of hundred each. You know what? It's every gold player on Nick M sells, no matter how good or how bad. And as you can see by my time total in the top left, it just went up. The South Korean guy, North Korea, I'm not too sure. Don't really know my flags. Do apologize for that. I didn't exactly say so for long. So I'm seeing that the Hawk chemistry style sells for a little bit. I don't use Hawk, I use Hunter. And Artist doesn't sell. Even though it's a good one for like cams, sentiment. And I see that backbone sells for a couple of hundred, at least 250. No one else in that pack's gonna sell. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please leave it a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and until next time, peace.